Love it. So we're going to make the, the dough for the tarts, and then it's their lemon lavender tarts. Don't they sound fancy? I was going to say, something kind of cute and girly too, right? Yeah. I mean, so we're going to start by making just the dough. Um, and this is kind of my standard just shortbread dough. And it's going to be a half a pound of softened butter. Okay. Um, and you're going to want um, unsalted butter. And just leave it out at room temperature overnight. Okay. And then that, that way it's the perfect temperature. You don't have to hassle exactly. with it. Exactly. Okay. Sugar. Sugar. We're going to cream that together, and then we have a couple cups of flour here as well. It's a very simple recipe. It looks like it's going to make a, a lot of dough, though. Yep, so this one, uh, you can cut the recipe in half if you want, or I always just make my dough and then freeze what I don't use, and then I can have it ready to go for the next time that I might need it. When you freeze it and then you want to use it again, how do you do that then? then? You know, this does not have any raw eggs in it, so it's completely fine to pull it out of the freezer and leave it on your countertop overnight. Okay, So, but you definitely have to pull it out, let it... Soften. Yeah, bring okay. it back up to room temperature. It's okay. definitely what you're going to want to do with it. Okay. If it's cold and you try to roll it out, it's just going to continue to crack and fall apart. So any okay. doughs that you have, you want to bring back up to room temperature. You have to be tricky if there's raw eggs in it, but you know, you have a little bit of a window there of an hour or two that you can let it warm up and roll it out. So but this, no eggs, and it's going to make what, a couple dozen uh, tarts? Yep, okay. the recipe's going to make 24 tarts. The dough makes maybe a little, maybe 36 tartlets, a small size like this. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and scrape the sides. We'll add the flour. Okay. At home, are we waiting for this butter and sugar to do a color thing? Yeah, you know, it starts to get really kind of shiny. There's, you can rub your fingers between it. The uh, sugar granulates will have uh, dissolved into the butter. Um, it normally takes a good five minutes or so, but um, if you have a KitchenAid, it's really nice to turn it on and walk yeah. away. Yeah. All right, I'll get to work on the filling here. This is the lemon filling. Um, looks like we're doing like a lemon curd type of thing. Pretty much. Okay. Um, so you're going to start out by putting three eggs in there. The full eggs? Yep, the full eggs in okay. this one. And okay. actually, everything in front of you, Amy, is going to go all into this bowl at the same time. Okay. Um, that's this uh, particular filling recipe can be made in advance, so you can make this the oh. week before and just put it in the fridge. That's a good or one. Or if you have some left over from the tarts, you can just store it in the fridge and then in a few days make something new with it. Put it on toast or something yep. like that. Okay, so uh, lemon curd on toast or scone mm -hmm. or something? All right, three eggs. Yep, and about half a cup of lemon juice. Okay. And you want to get the nicest lemon juice you possibly can. We get um, a Meyer lemon juice at our shop, but anything out there that's not from concentrate would be the best thing for you. Or fresh, or is it better? Fresh is great if you have the time to do it. Okay. So what are we looking for here? Just until it comes together. Sugar in here too, yep. all of it? Lots of so sugar to balance eggs, out that uh, tart lemon. the lemon. And this is flour? Just regular off of his flour, about a half a cup or so. Okay. And then you want to have dried lem lavender um, flowers. And you can find that um, typically in specialty stores, or if you're fortunate enough to have lavender growing in your garden, go ahead and pick off just the, the buds out of the top. And you're going to throw those in, and you're going to mix it in with the immersion blender. And the immersion blender kind of mixes that up a little bit. When you bake them, they soften up inside the tarts. Now, this, um, this is a very uh, trendy thing to add like herbs, basil, thyme. It has. It has been a trend for a couple of years. It's starting to pick up in the Green Bay market now as far as being able to put strawberries and basil together or something of that sort, lemon and lavender together. You something know, unique and different. My mistake, I was thinking this is more of a lemon curd. It's not. It's basically a tart. You can. The flour um, so at this point, we're going to bake it and turn it into curd, but you can also put it in a saucepan and whisk okay. it that way. And carefully. And let it thicken okay. up. Yep. Okay. So now we're going to, we actually don't even have time to put those in, but you've got a little tart pan over here. Yep, yep. And I rolled out some dough ahead of time. So you're okay. just going to roll it out between some parchment paper or on the countertop. These are cute little tart pans. You take your little... Yep. Oh, we're going to take a break and we'll finish doing these when we come back, so stay with us.